you'll have to zoom in if you care to see it but if you look on the uh, on the tailgate of that truck over there that's a human skull with some horns and up in the upper corner is the Freemasonic symbol and I ain't afraid no more told you there's some badass Christians coming to town and I'm with Jody. I'll have to put a link to her song in the description Bring on the rain Cause I can't imagine What else could go wrong God ain't gonna receive any more pleas from me On behalf of the rest of y'all To Withhold The storm Of judgment and the wreaking of havoc to prolong the calm before the storm in order that a few more people might be able to get woke. I might still share a little something with you like this and that here and there. For instance, the last thing I uploaded, a screen, excuse me, screenshot says she got the whole world on her back, shows another one of those Cuba Metatrons on the back of a turtle back here in the corner from High impact flicks, where it shows that blue whale with the stabbed knife. Now I thought, what is that? What is that? That has some connection to this whole blue crossing. Meet me on the back of the blue bus. And then I did a little quick research and remembered, oh yeah, all these kids committing suicide for this blue whale online game. Has nothing to do with anything I was involved with, or at least not that I know. Maybe there is. Maybe it's a false movement, a faux movement, because they knew people are going to be catching on to this thing, so we need to almost outlaw it, and they have. They've outlawed any online activities that encourage suicide or whatever. So, are they going to outlaw me, because I said meet them on the back of the blue bus, and you got to take the journey and all that? Maybe that's what that was. Maybe that was to get ahead of the curve. There's forces here beyond our comprehension, I know that. So I'll tell you my journey. I just I saw that knife in the blue whale. I went, what? Wait, huh? What's that got to do with it? He's got all these gun shirts, like all guns matter. Typical red, white, and blue conservative images and messages other than that whale with the knife through it. And I was like, what is that? So I did a little research, I guess, or I just ask, and it was given to me in different ways and different pieces. Did a little research and remembered that I had already heard some stuff about this blue whale online game where kids are committing suicide. And the best thing I could get from it online was that there's some controllers and they've arrested some 21-year-old kid as one of the administrators of this online suicide game that's getting kids to kill themselves. Are they going to associate me with that shit? Probably. It's probably what it was, a faux movement. As I've already explained, when you know there's going to be a movement and you want to keep people from joining, you create a fake movement ahead of it or beside it, like third wave feminism. So I did a little research on that blue whale thing, remembered what I did, saw what I saw, and apparently they still don't know who's behind it all. They haven't put much of an investigation into it either, because we're talking child porn sting rings get a lot more than this online mysterious game that's making kids kill themselves and we're having to make new laws in different countries to prevent it from happening and all they've gotten was one 21 year old kid they say was a, an, ad, an administrator maybe that's an old report anyway I'll move on because it's time to bring on the rain and my entire trip over to Missouri <clears throat> it's like Eminem says I decided to get clean. I did it for me. Admittedly, I probably did it subliminally for you. So, your prayer, your life is your prayer. Your actions, your outward expressions. God knows your heart. But in order to really put it into a prayer, you got to put it into words and deeds. And that's what that was. That was a prayer to God that if you just let me show them, they want the truth. They're dying for it. They're begging for it. They'll take it and run with it. I was wrong. That's how I teach you and you help me learn. And that's a learning that I'm just discovering. Is that that's what I got out of this whole thing. Is an acceptance. That when it's time to bring on the rain. 
I'm going to help get her done. Because when I show you a crystal skull from dragons, crystal skulls don't exist, dragons don't exist, with meat still on the bones and it gets 25 views and three thumbs up, that's the music video sale. Sale. Yeah, I told you that music video was about holy wrath and the people that have been fucking with you your whole life. And dismissing everything you try to bring to their attention. They don't want the truth. They want to find it their own way. They want to find their own truth. They want to find whatever makes them feel good about themselves. And the truth requires you coming to the point where you don't feel so hot about yourself. And you know you don't deserve the truth. Because you can't handle it. And if you happen to get it, it's by the grace of God. But for the grace of God, there go I. All those other zombies. <clears throat> starting with, and I told you, I've shared with you my experience, and it all started by getting on my knees and praying to Jesus Christ. And I've since figured, the name, that is a form. The function is the principles of the life that he lived by. And that can be exemplified, and the story told and lived by example through all these different ascended masters. Whichever God you pray to. Here's another thing I've been learning. I heard a long time ago that when the women of Islam rise up and tell the men, we ain't taking it no more. That's when radical Islam will be taken down and done away with in its current form and function is through the women. That's why all these feminazis won't even touch that subject. And that's why you hear people like Sean Hannity saying, and pointing this out. They claim to be all about women's rights, but they ignore the slaves that they call harems. When it's time to defend women against men, the other day, there are demon-possessed people out there too. Believe that. I saw a couple walking across the street, not even looking either way if traffic's going to hit them on University Avenue in Provo. A lot of traffic. Came to a stop right there in the middle of the intersection as these two, a man and a woman, homeless, clearly, apparently, crossing the street, not even looking either way, just knowing traffic will stop like they're God or something. Or they just don't care anymore. One or the other. I go from the left-hand turn lane, clear across two lanes to take a right and say, hey, you want to ride, brother? Fuck you! All right. I failed to offer her a ride. She kept her eyes straight. She didn't have the opportunity of accepting the ride. So next time, I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm going to say, would you like a ride? And it doesn't appear as if she was able to maintain her own freedom when she's in his presence. Otherwise, she would have said, yes, I'd like a ride. He chose for her. And I won't let him do that again. She didn't have the freedom to choose for herself when she was in his presence. Clearly, that's why she kept her eyes on the road, didn't even bother to say yes or no, and let him answer for her. And the God I serve don't act like that. The one is separating into island prisons now, and people like that, he knows, he knows, he's in trouble. That guy, for him to react to me the way he did, he is so bubbling inside, he's getting tortured right now. Like I said, Judgment Day is well underway from... Paradise Fires to the cathedral. I keep wanting to say Stockholm, but it's uh, Notre Dame. Place of Our Lady. Our Lady of the Lake. Is it all making sense now? Because when she sings Bring on the Rain, she ain't just singing about a man and a woman. But it's real, 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 real simple to encode and embed and encase and hide this plain truth right in, right in plain sight. To encode the story of finding God in a love story, in a song, apparently just about a man and a woman. All of them have done this. And that's, that's the external physical experience we're having here as a reflection and an outward expression of an inward, internal, mental, emotional journey of reconnecting the heart. Part of the way we've done that is excommunicating all women from religion. If you hear of any women religions, they're witches. And they're probably doing witchcraft and that's evil and bad. You better believe they are. 
and there is enough power and force there and they benefit from the fear chambers that prevent you from going and checking it out too because they don't want no, just any old idiot showing up. So the fear serves its purpose. All the lies, you know, when you watch a call for an uprising and he shows, ooh, this must be more Illuminati satanic ritual stuff. Huh? Huh? That's not an answer. That's not an explanation. Huh? It's just emphasizing the unknown and demonizing it as everything evil you can imagine. And the other day he says, you know, someone said there's good witches and bad witches. No, there's not. If you're a witch, you're the lowest of the low. That's what he said word for word. That serves to keep the idiots away. But when she says bring on the rain, she ain't just talking. Oh, and in this video link in the description I'll show you, it's a Tim McGraw song that's been redone by a woman whose name I don't even remember. I just saw the song. In the video, she's in the cube. And when she summons that window to raise, it raises. She's not just talking about a love song. If you got eyes to see, she's talking about some witchcraft. And the rain is the wrath. And when she says bring it on, because can't imagine anything else that could go wrong. That's what I said, no one knows the day and the hour. But it'll be based on a calculation when God decides we're not gaining any more kids. We're just put, prolonging the misery and the pain and the suffering. Letting people suffer a little longer in their ignorance and their willful ignorance because they choose to remain ignorant and I've told you how they do that they've gotten you to be more concerned about how other people see you than the truth because the truth is still the truth no matter if zero people believe it and a lie is still a lie even if 100% of the people believe it and they've conditioned us to be more worried about what other people think of us then the truth about who we are and God saw every second of your entire life but we want this person and those people to think we're smart so we go oh yeah I know what you're talking about uh-huh oh yeah mm -hmm. and forfeit the opportunity to learn and each time you do that again and again and again it compounds and by the end of a long long line of sequences and series of decisions to pretend you know rather than say uh, I don't know tell me more about that that's the first I've heard Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh yeah. Oh, and this other thing, blah, 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 blah. Each time you do that, you're more concerned about that person thinking you're smart rather than becoming smart and admitting you're dumb. Each time you pretend to know something when you really don't, instead of asking a question saying, teach me, I want to learn more. Oh, I already know about that. Oh yeah, yeah, I know about all that. That's based on prioritizing how they think and how they feel about you rather than how you feel and you know about you. Underlying priorities determine principles. Principles determine outward standards of behavior. <clears throat> if your priority is to look smart in the eyes of others, then you're gonna end up really stupid. Because every time you didn't say I don't know and admit that you don't know because your priority was to pretend you do know, in regular conversation, people do it all day, every day, and it compounds over a little while, and you become dumb because you forfeit the opportunity to learn each time you pretended to know. Superimpose that idea onto an idea and an understanding of God and this world and who we are, where we came from, what, where we're going and what we're supposed to be doing here and now in order to get there then. You pretended you knew. You didn't question. You didn't say, I don't know. Your whole life. So, bring on the rain. That whole experience for me was a plea to God to just let us get the truth out and we will take it and run with it and we will blow the lid right off this whole conspiracy to keep us dumb and in the dark and confused and misguided and full of apathy and complacency. That's the part that I had to learn that that apathy and complacency is willful ignorance they choose to remain ignorant they don't want the truth that was hard to discover and accept for me but when I went clear across the country and show you a dragon crystal skull and it gets a yawn fuck it I'm gonna just go ahead and rewrite history and you're gonna be written into the dustbin of the past you watch that video link where it says bring on the rain and the water starts flowing backwards and the water drops 
the ripples go inward. My stepdad said he saw ripples going inward on a pond the other day with no apparent rock thrown in the pond. There was no boats on the lake, just rings, and he pointed it out to his co-workers. Look at that. The best they could chalk it up to was um, um, there must be a hole in the bottom of the lake, a sinkhole sucking the water in or something. They were trying to explain it from their current paradigm. That's the reversal of time. The rings normally flow outward. Well, it's rewind time, like Will Smith said. People don't want the truth. They had their chance. That whole journey was for me to get to the point where I'm ready to jump on one of those dragons and start pulling the levers. Give me one reason I shouldn't. Mm-hmm. You can't. Because there's not one. So you want to join me. You want to join her. Sure, there's someone going to bring you the opportunity in your life real soon. If you're open to the Spirit and the ways of the Spirit, you'll know that this isn't just a person here. This is an angel. Every person we come across are angels. We're all angels all the time, or we're not. So, you'll have your chance. You might want to light a candle in her name. Because there's another song called Burn. I'll include that link in the description, too. Just about all of these songs, if you recognize the story are encoding the message because there's only one story and they're all singing the same story in different words. So, I'll include a couple of more analogies. For instance, that Metatron's Cube looking image that's up here in the top left corner where High Impact Flicks is selling his t-shirts and he's just got some flames here and there. Whatever led me to do that I say that facetiously because I know what it is that led me to do that. Zoom into that top corner up there and see what looks like a sea turtle with one of those Metatron's cubes on its back. Well, a plain truth too. Oh, and by the way, in front of that sea turtle is the eye of Godzilla, and in front of that is that pillar of flames. Godzilla protects the turtle with those flames. That's the story being told in just off in the corner in the distance of his t-shirt sales screenshot so uh, a plain truth featured a video from Donnie of Daytona Donnie of Daytona is just pointing out spheroids like he always does but I see a little black speck and so I zoom and contrast on it another one of those Metatron's cubes whatever they are really don't matter that's just a small detail, and I'm done trying to bring all the points and data points together for everyone else. <clears throat> if I only receive the next one if I share it with you, then I'll continue sharing it with you because I want to continue learning. But these videos are no longer for you. They're for me, and if I decide to share it, so be it. If not, I'm going to just continue learning for my sake because y'all don't want to know it. Y'all don't want the truth. If everything I've put down has reduced it to... 25 views and three thumbs up, which is one big yawn. I may keep uploading this, but again, we know those numbers are fluid. That's why I was able to watch it go from 150 to 450, back down to 150 in a few minute frame. And what led me to see that few minute frame and take a screen cap before, and then while, and then after, that gives me standing in a case against YouTube for censorship. I ain't going about it that way we got a higher law of justice coming around my point is whatever led me to screen cap right there in that five minute window and show it go from 150 because the night before is at 160 the next morning it was at like 150 10 less views and seven more thumbs up and i went huh took a screen cap a couple minutes later it jumps to 450 and then back down to 150 and i take screen caps all the way with the timestamp metadata that's standing in a case but what they did, if they're censoring people, is robbing you of the opportunity. But you don't have standing in a case, you see? Even though it was you who got robbed of the opportunity to see and hear the truths they decided they would deliver, like the mailman opening up your mail and deciding which, which letters he's going to deliver to who based on the content of the message. You're the one they robbed. 
Hear any lawyers contacting me saying, hey, I want to use your standing in a case as fuel for my fire because I'm the one they robbed? You hear anyone saying, hey, I want to take that crystal skull that you've got and do a documentary that rewrites all of history? You hear anyone saying, hey, how the fuck are you finding all this stuff? I want to know. No, you don't. They don't want the truth. They're scared. So, there will be no more pleas from me to God on behalf of you. Told you how it happened for me over the last year, starting with a tear-drenched prayer to Jesus Christ that I be given away to not be held accountable for everything that we're about to have to pay for when I heard the Syrian ambassador come out on the floor of the UN and say these genetically modified armed Syrian moderate opposition forces will be sent back to where they have come from. That's when I knew we messed up. I ain't going to be held accountable for what y'all did. From Abu Ghraib to the Catholic pedophile priests never saying anything or doing anything. I started a long time ago with Sonia Sorensen the Cyber Squad Division with Paula Houston and the Pornography and Obscenity States Ombudsman. And I've been trying my whole life to tell the truth. And I'm done. Let it rain. I'm going to sail away. I'm going to let time rewind. I'm on the leading edge. I have in my possession that which will rewrite all of history. You are the complacent full of apathy person sitting on the other end of the camera going, huh, hmm. And then you're going to go surf some other YouTube channels. I show you a crystal skull of a dragon and people, oh, hey, yeah, that's cool. Hey, you should check out this YouTube channel or that YouTube channel. You don't get it, do you? Thanks for the suggestion. I'll be sure and do that real quick. In the music video Godzilla, they bring all the firepower they've got with the jets and the missiles and it doesn't penetrate Godzilla and Godzilla comes across and shoots down that alien that all those humans are fighting on behalf of to try and kill Godzilla. Get it? There's a story being told there. And you are the forces of hell while you're standing up for what you think is while you're holding the moral high ground and fighting against the forces of hell. This ain't for everybody. Like I said, I'm done sharing these messages unless I have to in order to continue receiving them. Which has been kind of part of the deal so far. So... You may or may not continue receiving what I'm shown, but that don't matter. You've got plenty on the videos below that you haven't gone through yet. So what good does it, as it said in the Bible, how can I tell you of heavenly things if I can't even tell you of earthly things? So, you've got piles and piles and mountains of visible, physical evidence. Maybe that guy... Thought I was just some crazy on YouTube until I showed up. This is real, and there were other people along the way who were on the same journey. Oh, well, maybe they're all figments of my imagination, too. Maybe so. But what I've created was the world that, apparently, we're all in. Those crystal skulls from dragons that don't exist still have meat on the bones. That's real. So, you either start determining and drawing and creating and intentionally manifesting your own reality or you're going to experience the consequences of my manifestations. Because that's as real as it gets. I don't know what else to say. I know I'm ready to go live in a world of truthers, of people who do want the truth. And not <clears throat> to, I guess that's what we're all here for, is to discover it our own way and do it our own way. And no one wants to be shown the truth. They want to find their own truth. And there's nothing more convincing than experience. Nothing confirms your ideology more than experience. And the people that have been on that street, taking the hard knocks, going outside the line, taking the risk of sinning, get to reap the rewards of the risk. Risk and reward. 
That's the currency. That's the basis of the economy we live in. Supply and demand is also the other golden rule. Narrow is the path. The mainstream of just about every religion, I would say, has been deceived. Especially in including Christianity. And I said a long time ago, it looks like the Masons are packing their bags and moving their headquarters. What, like right after 9-11? It was clear we were still under the command and control of the British Empire. And people talk about the gold trim around the flag shows that we're still on maritime law. 